Aloha, I'm Grace Bazilla. Um, so I'm Hawaiian. I'm a student of UH Hilo. And I'm saying again, I'm a live Hawaiian living on Mauna Kea and I have my whole life. And so um, rules, these rules are meant for, I don't think it's your personal gain, but I think it's for the gain, personal gain or the gain of those that you represent, not for me to thrive as an indigenous person of this land. And I strongly oppose these rules and I strongly oppose your management on Mauna Kea and your presence there. And dear Chancellor, you have put, it seems as if you've put your responsibility to OMM above your responsibility to student safety. You each is failing me and it's failing this island and its people. <sighs> to be in a room, sorry, there's a lot going on here. And I say that because yes, Barry Taniguchi was a great man, no doubt. To be in a room where he's honored before anything of this place has been, much less having at this space for this meeting enough seating room for the general public or even honoring the people that are living, that are sacrificing every day for truly what they believe is the best for the Mauna is a slap in the face to me and to everything and everyone that's come before me. Mr. Taniguchi passed this week. I've been asking for four years, Chancellor, for safeguards for students. And this semester as well, there's still nothing. And when I mean safeguards, I mean OMM is a part of UH. It's involved in creating all the trauma that's happening on the mountain and has been happening on the mountain, the big elephant in the room. I'm a student at UH. There's nothing that's currently in place for me, a student of UH experiencing historical trauma. And so it's failing me. When I ask, why doesn't anyone know where to point a student? I'm told it's not that they don't know where to point a student. There's nowhere to point a student. And that is not OK. And so I've, this is not my first attempt. I've tried many things, many ways to try and get safeguards on campus for students. So when I sit in a room and come to this meeting, and all my love and respect to Mr. Tony Gucci, when I hear that that is placed above students and their safety at UH Hilo, it's really hard to sit down. And I don't know if you guys know, but UH students are going through unnecessary trauma. And yeah, nothing's available. I don't know, like, Will it take me, a UH Hilo student, dying to be heard? I really ask everyone in this room to hear this. Because yes, you're making, you're making motions on things that affect something on a mountain, but you're also part of a university that its first and foremost thing is for students. And what's gonna happen when students start dying? Do you want that on your conscience? What is gonna happen? I also wanna know what does decommission look like? Does what machinery is involved with that? What access will the general public have to the Mauna during this decommissioning? Yeah, hoku kea. You know, I've lived here my whole life. Astronomy, astronomy, astronomy. It is appalling that a student that comes to UH Hilo doesn't have access to viewing time or doesn't have the right credentials to be able to operate telescopes that exist on the island that they've been coming to for school or have lived their whole life. That's not okay. Thank you. So I don't know why UH Hilo can't provide students with viewing time, whether it's on Hokukea or another telescope, but that needs to be put to the top of the priority because it's a university for students and that should come above research. 
And if you're going to decommission Hokukea, there better be put into plans at every other telescope that you're not decommissioning. It's time, time for students and community to use those telescopes. And please, take your students' lives seriously, and please listen to what they're saying. And listen, find somebody on this planet that is trained in historical trauma, because yesterday, Chancellor, I heard there is funding for someone to do this. There's just nobody that's found, and a talk is not gonna cut it. A talk is not going to cut it. And my faculty shouldn't be responsible to make sure that I stay alive. Fly someone from Canada. Someone that understands historical trauma that doesn't necessarily have to do with substance abuse. Someone that understands intergenerational trauma. And dear everyone sitting on this board, you are making decisions that are causing or not going to cause this trauma. And it's a damn shame that I have to sit in a room as a 30 year old watching my kupuna and talk like this in front of them because they've experienced more trauma than I could ever believe. But as a 30 year old that has pride in my culture and understands a lot of the shit that's happened to them, it's happening again. What, when are we gonna say no? And when are we gonna say is enough is enough? And I understand three minutes. But all the time has passed. Seriously, everyone here, you have the voice to make a change, to make sure that our Hawaiians are Hawaiians on Hawaiian land in the future, and that they're alive. It's not alcoholism or substance abuse that's going to kill them. It's going to be UH's management amount of care. Please don't let that happen. Mahalo. Hello, Aina. My name is Maile Lvea Maloy. Um, mahalo to me, sister. Love this one. Um, oh no, I have uh, UH Hilo alumni, 2018. I am too a scientist. However, um, my degree is in political science and administration of justice. Pre-law certificate and a minor in history. Um, I was an executive member of your student senate. This is not my first go around. I've come to many of these meetings just as a listener, my first time speaking to you folks. Um, currently, I am a mother of one of your students against, against my best wishes because of the fact of what has been happening. Okay, This is very real, very real for many of us through the generations, very real. Um, I got my grit from this institution um, in meetings, long range budget meetings with the past interim chancellor. Um, went to the meet and greet for your current chancellor. Still waiting for a response from my letter. Um, so basically what I wanted to say is that there has been severe detriment to this institution as well as to the people of this place. And I speak to all people, not just Kanaka. I speak to all people who live, who drink the waters of this place, who eat from this island, to all people, to all creatures, right? And although you guys are trying your very best, I want to wish that is your very best. Do better. Um, mismanagement of Mauna Kea has been happening through the generations. And it's always been asked to negotiate terms. Let's find a way to coexist. Right. And for 13 telescopes, enough. Like this is the last, whatever is the last one that you guys have up there right now was the last. This will not happen, I promise you not. Whatever kind of rules you guys decide, whichever which way you guys decide to go, I'm promising you, TMT will not be built on Mauna Kea. I swear to you, it will not. 
Um, there's too many people invested in it. Globally, you know, there's investors from all across the world. Mahalo. There's prayers coming in from all across the world. We sing, we chant, we hula, we stay in ceremony for this specific purpose that TMT will not be built on Mauna Kea. And I'm sorry, there's no negotiating at this time. None. We pow. We are pow with this trauma. We are pow with this heva. And if we can't have you to assist us in healing that, make a iloa. We're going to pow this. And we'll go about healing ourselves. Okay, Mahalo.